Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. This is Ali Valdez, AKA The Modern Actress. And I am so nervous to shoot this video. Anyways, this is my video on how to face rejection as an actor. It's not easy for me to talk about this because I'm feeling a kind of a low right now of feeling rejected at the moment. But as promised, I was going to talk about the good and the bad days of being out here in LA and sharing my story and my trials and tribulations. So this is one of them. Although I always say I'm so excited, I am kind of nervous to shoot this video and talk with you all today about um, some of the uglier sides of being in this industry and living in LA and I guess kind of adulting and everything all wrapped up into one. But if you are interested in learning more, this is my video about how to face rejection. Today is September 26, 2019. I think it's very important to say the date of which I'm feeling this way because in a year, could be all different. Anyways, don't forget to follow me on Instagram before we get started. My Instagram handle is at Ellie.Valdez with two Z's. I will put it down in the link for you to check out after you watch this. This video comes at a very interesting time in my life. Um, I'm feeling rejected from, I did get rejected from a job that I was so excited about. I will say, I thank God that this job was not a acting related job. It was simply just a side hustle I did, I applied to do while I continued on my acting path. And I'm very excited that I'm not talking about feeling rejected in terms of, let's say I booked a CW series regular role and then it got pulled out from under me. Thankfully, that is not where this is stemming from. It is simply stemming from a different place of feeling rejected in the adult world. But these are just some ways that I have brought light back into my life after feeling a cloud over my head for the past couple of days. Um, and it is actually pretty cloudy in Los Angeles today. It's a little bit rainy, which I'm very excited about because I love the fall season. But um, aside from the physical um, state of the world, uh, aside from the physical cloud outside, um, there has been a mental cloud definitely blocking my eyes and blocking my thoughts so this is kind of how I've been working my way out of it and and pulling myself back up from this dark place I don't know if this video is it's the best time to shoot this video Getting rejected in Los Angeles is inevitable. As an actor, you get rejected every single day from auditions, from callbacks, from agent meetings, from manager meetings, to network meetings, to executive meetings, to dates, to friends. Rejection is just the name of the game that you have to play out here. When I feel rejected and when I'm starting to find myself dwindling into a dark hole, I do a couple of different things. One, I allow myself to sulk. That's it. I allow myself one day to just really feel bad for myself and just really just take all my energy out and just plop down onto my bed. I did that yesterday. I went to the beach and I plopped down on the beach for a couple hours. Um, then I came back home and I plopped down on my bed and watched all of season one of The Act with Joey King on Hulu. And um, that's my first thing I do. I allow it. I do. I give it one day and one day only. Um, though today's day two and I'm feeling very low. I think shooting this video is actually very helpful for me. So thank you for everyone who's listening and who's like, Allie, just snap out of it.
and I know in a couple weeks or a couple days or a couple years and I watch this video again it's gonna be like Allie you're such a drama queen just get over it okay the second thing I do this is just me personally I love Ariana Grande I listen to breathing over and over and over and over again my girl Ari has pulled me out of some really tough tough times with that song so shout out Ariana Grande for creating the song breathe in and performing it because without you I would be sad <laughs> that was lame I know but really at the end of the day everything that I do and the reason and the reason why I keep moving forward is because I believe from the bottom of my heart that God has placed me on this earth to be an actor and I believe from the bottom of my heart that he has something destined for me and something greater that I cannot see yet and I know that and I know that when he closes a door he closes it with an intention and with a reason and it's hard for me to digest when those doors close but I always keep in mind that it's for a reason and something greater is waiting for me if you're not spiritual I think about it in terms of like every no is going to lead you to a greater yes so even though you got a lot of no's this past year on auditions, and even though he went in and he didn't book a single thing, that's really just a lesson from God saying, continue to prepare yourself, continue to keep going again, continue to take classes, continue to know what it's like to be a character and fill in, fill in as a character and, and to try a new character on just like trying on a jacket like you have to try on characters so you're prepared for the day your your yes finally does come and what that means is like i said this in my first video is like keep taking classes and keep studying because i went in for a very dark victim theatrical role the other day and I don't think a year ago, if I wasn't in a drama class, that I would know how to play that. And I would know how to like really dive into a really dark role like that. But though I took my classes and I kind of worked those muscles, I was able to flex in the audition. Though I did not book it, I just know that that was a lesson from God saying, okay, here's an opportunity, try it on. See how it feels, see how you move in it okay, that felt great, but don't worry, something else is coming your way and it's gonna be great. I know in my heart that I am enough and sometimes things don't work out the way we want them to, but they're working out for reasons out of your control. And auditions, like if you know you're enough and you put in all the proper work that goes into it, then really the decision was out of your control. The most control you have is how much prep work goes into your audition, how you deliver your audition, if you're off book, if you knew your lines, if you knew your character, if you if you go into the audition knowing full heartedly you did your absolute best in that room, then that's all that matters. Really what I believe is whenever I whenever I go into an audition and I know I nailed it and I know I was that character and I know I was present. And I didn't book it like I know that there was another reason outside of my talents a reason that is completely out of my control a reason being that maybe casting was looking for a blonde maybe the director was looking for a male maybe the writer was looking for um, an older person and you know you were just in the room because you got brought in for a different flavor and a different take but when it came down to piecing together the ensemble of what their cast was going to look like maybe maybe it just wasn't the vision and it wasn't your time but I'm not going to sulk in it and say oh my gosh like it's because I wasn't blonde oh my gosh it's because I delivered this line really weird and oh my gosh I'm not going to start nitpicking my craft if I know that I went in fully prepared don't get me wrong I have gone into auditions before not fully prepared and I did not book it and I can blame it on that reason but if I ever go into an audition, which I try every single audition, to go in full force and I don't book it, I'm not going to blame it on myself because I know that I'm enough and I know I did my absolute hardest and I know that ultimately the decision that was made was completely out of my control. 
And that's kind of what I am seeing right now and feeling rejected from this job. And I um, want to circle back around and say that I know that God has placed me on this earth to act. And though he closed this door in front of me, like I believe that it was because he has something waiting for me that's going to be greater. Something that I, I believe that God is saying, Allie, um, this job would have depleted you of the time and the energy that you need to work on this audition that's coming from you. Allie, I know this job was going to take up a lot of your time, but I have something that you're going to book in a couple of days, weeks, years. I don't know the timing of which God works, but I believe that he is working for me and I just have to listen to everything he says as a lesson. That is how I really see maneuvering this town with my faith. There have been times where I had amazing job opportunities and for really big name companies to be full-time employees, to work in Washington DC, to work for Google, to work for um, Facebook, and those doors cut, got shut completely in my face. And I was like, what the heck, God? But I think it's because he knows that I am intended for this life to be an actor and he's going to keep opening doors that are going to provide me those opportunities and he's not going to open doors that are going to deplete me from my time and my energy to being the greatest actor that I physically can possibly be. That is really the lens that I look through everything, especially working in this industry. I apply that same thought to dating. Though I think it's, you know, I don't, I don't think it's a bad thing to go on a lot of dates. I think it's good to just try on different coats, you know, if that makes sense, like to go grab coffee with someone different, um, go grab lunch with someone different, just like keep those wheels turning. And don't get me wrong, I've had some really awful relationships, but I've also had some really great relationships. But I know none of those people in those relationships are the one for me. And I see... God placing those people in my life for a reason. He places the bad to know what I don't want and the good to know what I do want. And though some really great relationships have ended, they weren't someone who I was picturing myself with for the rest of my life. So I think God sends me those people to say, hey, like, I'm going to give you, I'm going to show you what this person can provide. I'm going to show you what this person can provide. I can show you what this person should not do. I can show you what this person is really not great for. Um, and starts like showing me those pieces to people because I know that he has someone waiting for me that's going to fit the bill and fit all of those aspects that I want and none of those that I don't. But how would I know that if I never tried them out? And same with acting, like how am I going to know how to play comedy on network TV if I don't know how to play comedy in an audition room, if I don't know how to play comedy in a acting class. You just have to keep going to classes and you have to keep going to auditions because that is just building your muscle and building your muscle, building your muscle so you can flex on when the camera is on. So just like going to the gym, you gotta keep going to class. You gotta strengthen yourself um, and give yourself the tools to be able to perform and and know that God is is waiting for you to succeed and waiting for you to um, keep learning and keep growing. So that's how I see every lesson given to me and every person that I've encountered and every job opportunity I have faced and relationships and really everything in life I give to God's lesson that he is waiting um, He's waiting for me to grow and, and to work on myself, to be able to give me everything I'm asking of him. But he's not going to give it to me right away without me trying at first. I didn't mean for this like rant to go so spiritually. <laughs> Growing in my faith is something new to me. That's my biggest takeaway is, again, know that you are enough. Know that every no is going to lead to a greater yes. And know that there's always going to be something greater waiting for you. You just have to listen to that and you have to take the harshness of the door shutting for one beautiful door to open up on you. I don't know if anyone's going to watch this or if you even care to listen to what I have to say, but being an actor out here, you have to hold on to anything that's going to keep you sane. 
my faith with God has um, really kept me sane and kind of holding on to that hope and that idea that something is coming for me. I just don't know when, I just don't know how, I don't know what, but I just have to keep going at it because if I give up today, then I'm never going to know what it was going to be like and what the reward would have tasted like. So that is all. If you're an actor and you're feeling a, a lull of being rejected or if you're a friend or just someone watching this who needs someone to confide in, please feel free to reach out to me on Instagram. My Instagram handle is Allie.Valdez with two Zs. That's not a shameless plug. Like I genuinely want people to know that I'm here to listen and to offer advice. Um, yeah, and so that's about it. If you like this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe. I try to put videos out every single week. And thank you all for listening to my rant. And yeah, good night, good afternoon, good morning from wherever you're at. We'll see you next time. Bye.